Eel McMahon is on the cusp of making his return to competitive disc golf after undergoing off-season shoulder surgery in October of 2023. I'm hoping that my return is mid-April, which gives, is right at the six-month mark. And I think uh, Champions Cup is more or less my, my return date. After originally targeting Champions Cup, he's now on the start list and scheduled to make his highly anticipated return at the Music City Open. Just three months after his surgery, his range of motion had drastically improved, and the rehab work he's been putting in has been paying dividends. No pain, so I couldn't be more happy with how the, the progress is going. And like you said, I'm, I'm very diligent about doing all my exercises. I haven't skipped PT, two, two exercise sessions every single day. I'm going to sauna, doing a bunch of different modalities. Eagle hopes that this surgery will bolster his confidence to rely on his forehand again. I probably wouldn't have got the surgery unless I wanted to get the forehand back. Last season, Eagle was struggling with instability in his shoulder that didn't allow him to throw the shot he had once become famous for. I don't have my distance forehand. Okay. I won't. I won't beat around the bush. Uh, there's just some underlying stability in the shoulder. After playing without a sidearm in 2022, Eagle adapted his forehand during the 2023 season to see if he could still use it as a tool. So, what exactly did Eagle change about his forehand after this injury, and what might we see from him this season? If you've been with us long enough, you've seen our shot and technique breakdowns of pros here on YouTube. At rotadiscgolf.com, we've created a tool for you to quickly and easily compare your own form with your favorite professional. Our Throw Like a Pro feature guides you through how to upload your own technique footage using screenshots from key positions in the throw. This side-by-side -side comparison allows you to spot differences at each position, giving you a visual of what you need to change to better throw like a pro. Check it out today at rotadiscgolf.com. Eagle first injured his shoulder in late 2021, throwing a 360 forehand while filming an off-the-course video at the Pro Tour Championship. After rehabbing his shoulder, he returned in 2022, and after a couple of setbacks famously won the European Open without throwing a single forehand. In the 2022 offseason, Eagle reportedly got stem cell injections in an attempt to return to form without undergoing surgery. When he returned in 2023, Eagle was still throwing forehands, but in a modified fashion compared to before the initial injury. The injury that Eagle reportedly was dealing with was with his labrum. The labrum is essentially a ring of fibrocartilage that deepens the joint socket, making the joint more stable. For a ball and socket joint with lots of mobility like the shoulder, an intact labrum is crucial for joint integrity. When someone has a torn labrum, it's often accompanied by pain as well as a lack of joint stability. This lack of stability can result in a decreased confidence to use the joint through a full range of motion. In 2023, Eagle McMahon started primarily using the sidearm on shots that were 300 feet or less, leaning on it for scrambling or shots where a backhand wasn't a great option. As the season progressed, Eagle seemed to have more confidence in his distance forehand, occasionally throwing it on holes playing 400 to 500 feet. Pre-injury, Eagle was known for a high reach back followed by an emphasis of driving the elbow forwards while simultaneously bringing the elbow close to his body. Eagle was also known for efficiently using his legs to generate power in his forehand. Look at how he pushes off with his right leg, driving his weight onto his front foot as he prepares to release the disc. Post-injury, we saw this revamped technique from McMahon. You can really see the difference in the side-by-side. -side. In this 2021 shot, as Eagle loads the disc back, You'll notice his classic high reach back here compared to 2023 where he uses this lower arm slot position. This isn't just a difference in release angle as Eagle ultimately releases these shots on nearly identical disc angles. Even though these shots look different, there are some technique elements that haven't seemed to change. Eagle still drives his elbow close to his body while creating lag by driving his elbow forwards as he brings the disc through. One thing that looks very different is his follow through. The pre-injury version of Eagle's forehand follow-through looked much like a baseball pitcher who had just released the ball. All of his weight is on his front foot and he's leaned forwards, letting his right arm follow through well across his body. Now we see Eagle with his weight further back on his follow-through, with a much more upright torso. The movement of his right arm on his follow-through is also abbreviated. And now Eagle has always been known for having a significant torso lean to the right in his forehand 
as you'll see in this clip from 2021. This torso lean is something that's most notably taught by Scott Stokely as a key to releasing on your desired hyzer angle. In the 2023 season, when he went for big forehands, it was often accompanied with even more torso angle than before. As he's seeking to decrease the range of motion demands that are placed on his shoulder joint during the throw, this change in torso angle helps him to effectively get more range of motion out of his shoulder than he could get if his torso was more upright. This gives him the option to vary the disc angle by changing the angle of his body without relying on movement solely at the shoulder joint to accomplish this. By using a lower arm slot and limiting his follow through, Eagle effectively decreases the range of motion his shoulder has to go through to throw the shot. By doing this, Eagle is decreasing the demand placed on the shoulder capsule where the labrum injury is. While he's been dealing with the instability in his shoulder, these changes have allowed him to continue to throw this modified version of his sidearm. This specific injury Eagle sustained is something that we've been seeing from other top pros in the sport. Are we going to see labrum tears to disc golf become like UCL injuries are to baseball? Whoa. Uh oh, no, no, uh -oh. no, no, oh no. Finding ways to mitigate the risk of injury could be essential in keeping the top players on the course long term. Players have already found ways to adapt their games to courses that continue to get longer as the talent in the sport grows. We may also see more of players incorporating strategic rest as the number of elite events on tour steadily increases. Eagle McMahon has already cleared many of the hurdles in his therapy toward making a full return. It's not unreasonable to think we will see Eagle at top form during the 2024 season, but he's prepared to be patient in order to put the cycle of re-injury and physical therapy behind him. This year, it's going to be me testing the waters. I don't, I really don't want to rush it because this whole shoulder saga of instability, I'm really sick of it. So I want to make sure I rehab it right first. The thought of a fully healthy Eagle McMahon is as exciting for his fans as it is scary for his competitors. Despite playing through injury, Eagle finished the 2023 season ranked number one in the final edition of the UDISC World Rankings. That being said, Eagle hasn't won a Pro Tour Elite or PDGA Major since July of 2022. As the field of top competitors seems to grow deeper every month, will we see Eagle back on top of the podium this season? More importantly, will his repaired shoulder allow him to play a full tour? having confidence in this full complement of shots? While Eagle has shown he doesn't need a forehand to win at the sport's biggest stage, the thought of a return of one of the greatest weapons in disc golf is something we will all be tuned in to see. I can't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. it is good to be back. You're awesome and thank you so much for watching until the very end. I love Eagle McMahon's forehand, but if you want to see my favorite forehand of all time, check out this video of Ryan Sheldon. The guy absolutely bombs. See you over there. Make sure to check out rotadiscoff.com for a pretty sweet throw like a pro tool.